right, so we have an official update from SpaceX. Loading prop is continuing. The weather is a go, the range is a go, and the vehicle is a go. So we are, uh, what, oh, jeeps, we're really close. 18 minutes until, we're T-minus 18 minutes, and currently vehicle, weather, and range are all a go. This is scary. <laughs> this is uh, getting. This is uh, looking even more promising than the last launch attempt. Um, so again, we're just gonna have to wait for. Uh, so engine chill should start in just a couple minutes, um, and they're gonna see how that goes. And then the next big thing is is T minus eight seconds, uh, and that'll be ignition. And then they're gonna continue to bring uh, all 33 engines up to their full thrust. And if everything comes up, this thing is gonna let go and it's gonna fly off the pad. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Uh, all right, folks, this is, in, this is insane. It looks like, it looks like it, it got where it needed to go. At least it's off the pad. The pad is safe. Stage separation happened. The two vehicles have separated. I don't really know what's happening at this point, but I think Booster 7 is on its way down. We're going to stand by to see if we, if we hear that sonic boom, which should come maybe a little bit eight or nine minutes after, after uh, takeoff. So I don't even know. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what's happening. I had to sit down so I didn't pass out. This is amazing. I am really glad you're all here <laughs> to experience this with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. I can't do something right. <laughs> true, true. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about what we just saw. And then hopefully we're gonna bring some people in to talk. Um, I don't. I don't actually know if any of my cameras are still pointing the way the directions are supposed to be. But uh, if you're just joining us, thank you so much. My name is Andrew. This is Rocket Future. We just witnessed the largest, most powerful rocket ever take off for the first time down there at Starbase. Uh, right now we're at the southern tip of South Padre Island at Isablanca Park, um, and that was actually the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, as you can see, there's still a bunch of folks around. Uh, actually, I don't have the I don't have the other camera going, but I'll bring it up in a second. But there's still folks around. A lot of folks are going to start leaving, uh, but we're going to stick around with you for just a little bit longer here, for a, a bit longer here. Uh, we're going to try to bring some of the people back on to talk to them about what they thought about that. Um, but that was that was intense. That was super intense. I, I I've been following uh, this program for a few years now. Uh, moved down here just a little over a year ago. Uh, and I've been down at Starbase as much as possible and documenting all of the um, all of the work that they've done on these vehicles. And I've been following these things so closely. Um, and the fact that this thing finally just launched, it really uh, it really kind of tore me apart uh, in a good way. 
Um, I definitely uh, had a little bit of a, a panic attack while it was while launching and um, and definitely got quite emotional, uh, but I didn't really expect anything different. I basically would have anticipated all of that happening exactly the way it did. Uh, that was just so amazing and so surreal. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy. I, I can't believe it all just happened.